What's up everybody, it is I, Josh Creep Lead, back with another pickup video. So the reason this is coming out today is because tomorrow is the Waterloo video game swap and I'd like to have a clean slate to show you what I pick up from there. Um, ideally the idea would be that uh, I wouldn't pick up too much at the uh, Waterloo video game swap. Um, I am going to be a vendor this year along with uh, Canadian Retro, we will be sharing a table. So I'm really looking forward to that event and I hope that, uh, hope that it's a success. At the same time, uh, if I, I don't want to clump together my pickups from over the past week or two along with my Waterloo Video Game Swap pickups. So I'm just going to separate in them into two videos uh, as of today. So I had some uh, some luck. I went to a, uh, I happened to be in Guelph and I heard from several other YouTubers that the microplay in Guelph is actually a lot better than the one even here in Kitchener or in Cambridge. So I decided to, uh, I was over that way so I decided I would uh, stop in and have a look. And I did have two games that I was interested in picking up, so I grabbed them. Uh, the first one is Capcom Puzzle World on the PSP. Um, I'm always looking for these compilation discs, so uh, this one's pretty cool. This one has uh, Super Puzzle Fighter, I think it is. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, which is really the only game worth having, but it's cheaper to get it on uh, on this than, say, the Dreamcast or the PlayStation, I think. And uh, I think that was only like four bucks, so totally worth it. And this one was a little bit more expensive, but it's one that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, it's Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Uh, this game is a lot harder to find than I thought it would be. Um, I really just want this for the, uh, the awesome lightsaber con combat. Um, I was playing it a while ago, uh, either the day or the two after I, I got it. And the one thing I wish they would do is I wish they'd give you a lightsaber right away. And I, I understand why they didn't do that, because they're trying to make you play more of the game to get the cool weapons. but. Uh, the first level is kind of a bit of a, a bit of a drag, so uh, <laughs> I didn't really even beat that. It's kind of like go here, and then you got to backtrack, and then go here, and then backtrack. It's it's got it's a lot of that. It suffers from the old I want to say old tropes of video games and stuff like that, where they kind of artificially lengthen them. So, uh, but hopefully I will get into that again at some point soon. I've also had some luck at the thrift store, and I haven't had that in a long time. <laughs> Normally everything's like stupid expensive, so I don't really bother. Uh, so I did pick up a couple of games, I'll show them here. Uh, first are a couple of uh, DS games, and all of these were, I think, $3 or less. So like the DS games were like a buck a piece or two bucks a piece. They decided to change their pricing, I guess. Uh, Puzzle, Puzzle the Harvest Moon. I have no idea if you guys know what that is, hopefully that will focus. Um, I've never heard of this game before, but I saw Harvest Moon on it, so I picked it up. Uh, Animal Crossing Wild World. This is not a cheap game to, to find either, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this one's pretty awesome as well. GoldenEye Double Seven. Everyone has that, but uh, it's a good seller. And uh, all of these, except for Animal Crossing, I'll probably be selling at the swap. I really have no interest in them except that they were cool and they're worth a lot more than what I paid for them. Uh, Witches and Vampires: The Secrets of Ashbury. I've never heard of this game. I've never seen this game. So uh, I picked it up for like three bucks, whatever, not a big deal. And uh, the next ones were pretty cool. Tetris DS, if you know anything about Tetris games, you know this is a, uh, a more sought after title. It costs a lot more than $2. Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. This used to be worth a lot more than it is now. Uh, this is why I picked it up and just like, oh, Scooby-Doo, that's an easy pickup. I used to flip these all the time. Uh, now they're worth a little bit less, but uh, hopefully I'll get something for it. And the kicker, the one that was just like, super excited to find uh, Tidal Legends 2. Uh, this is a not cheap game either. It's got a, li a, real, a lot of uh, more expensive and sought after titles on it so it's a cheaper way to play them than buying all the originals. Uh, but still even so this game is not super cheap either so uh, really happy to pick that up. Uh, I already have it so this is what we can be going to the swap. Another deal that I did was on Kijiji. I found a guy who had this posted up there for really, really cheap. Only wanted five bucks for it. I already have it for the 360, but I know it's worth a lot more than that, so I picked it up. Uh, like I said, he only wanted five bucks. So I drove over to his house, picked it up, and uh, he said, actually, I should have told you that I wanted trade, so if you had something trade, we could have done that instead. I said, yeah, I've got tons of games. What do you want? He said, oh, anything for PS3. So. I went home, I sent him a picture of what I had, and then basically he came over that night, gave me back my five bucks, and we traded a game for it. Uh, but anyways, it's uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Like I said, it's a double for me, so I'm probably gonna just put this off in the swap as well. 
Now we're gonna jump into the obligatory limited run games. Um, I'm sure everyone gets these before I do. I swear I'm the last per person in the world to get these games. Um, uh, Rainbow Moon on the Vita and on the PS4. Picked up both of them. Um, I'm not actually a huge fan of this game. They did release it for free on uh, PS Vita and I did try it. I played it for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it's a like grid-based tactical turn-based RPG. Three things that I'm horrible at and really dislike, but uh, it's one of those things that I have to have it for the collection, go figure. But the one that I was really, really happy to get, uh, the Shadow Complex Remastered. This is one of my favorite games that I played on the 360, um, and I'm really happy that they finally released the physical version of it. I know a lot of people have been hyping it up, but it really, really is such a really good game. Uh, so I really like it. The only problem with limited run games is this. Like, I swear every game I get from them is loose, and I, it's really, really frustrating. So, anyways, aside from that, I'm really, really happy to get this game. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the, the few uh, limited run games that I actually open up s sooner than all my other games and start playing, because I'm really excited to play that again, especially remastered. And then in comparison, something that has been kind of, um, I want to say, hard for me to find. Uh, I really wanted the original release of this, but I missed out. I did get the Vita release, and then they re-released it again for the PS4, and I jumped on it this time. And that's Retro City, Retro City Rampage DX on the PS4. Uh, really, really cool. They changed the, the uh, cover art, so at least you can tell that it's the second, the second print, uh, but still really cool. Uh, these are all individually numbered, so this is 1917 of 3,000, so there's only 3,000 of these made. Um, but still a really, really cool package. Um, the first print of this is going for stupid amounts of money, so at some point this is going to go up in price too. So wanted to jump on it for the regular retail price, and uh, really happy I got that. What's really cool about it is it also comes with a PSP uh, case. This is just a display case. Um, the the developers or whatever the manufacturer decided that making UMDs is a lot harder and a lot more difficult and a lot more expensive and complicated than they initially in, uh, had hoped. Um, so, but they really still really liked the PSP and they kind of wanted to make a display case for it. So they still released a PSP cover, uh, and it comes with a manual and everything, uh, just no UMD. So it's just, like I said, just something to put on your shelf to be like, Hey, that's really cool. Um, it would have been cool for them to get it on a UMD and play it on the PSP, but at the same time, I understand the UMD is notoriously hard to, to manufacture, especially now that it's completely like out of print in general. So. Uh, but still, really cool collection to have. Uh, both of them really happy to have them. So uh, that's it. That's my pickups. It's a pretty short one this week. Uh, if you're coming to the Waterloo Video Game Swap tomorrow, be sure to stop by and say hi. I'd love to see you there. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.